What's up, everybody? It's the homie Two Teller, the street reporter. And today we got a drill legend in here. I ain't got to give you the full title, the full description, the full narrative. Cash out, what's the word, bro? What the fuck going on? Man, I'm cooling, bro. I want to be honest with you now, Cash. I didn't see you on the internet. It seemed like you didn't jump from being like a top drill artist to probably being in the top three right now. I don't know. I think it's I think it's getting like that. I don't think it got like that. Yeah. You know, do you feel like you get the respect cash? I feel like I'm getting it right now. Yeah. Do you think do you feel like in Chicago you kinda like, you know, kinda gotta get involved in shit for people to really recognize how dope you is? Because I knew you could rap a long time ago, bro. Yeah, you definitely did. Mm -hmm. You definitely fucked with me a long time ago. Back to the phone call that you did. Do you think do you think you have to like involve and shit for people to notice your style and get the talent? That's kinda really anywhere, but yeah, Chicago most definitely you gotta get involved. So much new talent coming out, so many people chasing the same thing. You definitely gotta be involved. Right. I don't want to know that. Now I don't wanna front the people know you on True Tele TV. I kinda wanna jump right into it with you, bro. Cash, I seen you at King Von Moro, bro. That wasn't dangerous. When I seen that, I kind of had the little kind of the, the cringy face when I seen the cash. No, that's my cousin. You know, I'm really from Parkway. But you know, the internet didn't take that the right way. When I seen that picture get uploaded, I seen a lot of niggas in the comment section. They was playing. Uh huh? Yeah, they was playing. But I did see it though, cash, and it kind of had me a little worried. I know not to be worried. You seem like you be on shit now, but I'm just saying, I was a little worried. Nah, they were playing. I live in my parkway right now. I got two bedrooms now. Mm -hmm. Me and my girl. I want to ask you some cash to be honest with you. Have you ever seen King Von before? Yeah. Yeah. At my auntie house a lot. So he be, he was out there, shit. He wasn't like you know just like a myth. You could he was really out there. Yeah, my boy was a super savage. Right I there. wanted to ask now, you know, because you did drop a song. You know, I didn't really hear a lot of diss records from Cash, y'all. No. I didn't see Cash throw love shit out. Mm -hmm. 3.50 a.m. Yeah, 3.50 a.m. That was a freestyle. Like, Dirt told me to do that. That was a freestyle I did. He told me to do that. Help his album sell. Right. You know, you insinuated Bond on that song. That was like the first time I really heard, like, the names, like, I knew this who you was, you was talking about. Yeah, I woke up on the side of the bed that day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What get Cash out to get in that movie? Cause Cash out seemed like a smooth player type, you know. That shit came with the weather, you know what I'm saying? Like, it might be like this month. You know, like March Madness, like, like February was Black History Month, you know what I'm saying? I did that for the culture, man. I was just on that type of time. And I feel like I'm just, like I'm just like, smoking for FBT right now. Like, I just want to just boost FBG up real quick to be a leader ass. Like, I ain't FBG no more. Yeah, yeah come on now, Cash. Yeah, I, I diss them niggas. I'm, I'm dissing them too. You know what? What you're saying, man, I'm, I want to get to that. Because I think you got a plan. But I'm, I want to say that. I want to jump into something. Not to put you in it. Because you got involved in that Cairo shit that's going viral right now. Right? Yeah. But he did say STL in it. Okay. Yeah, what did he say about STL? I took time. I took time. I didn't even see the Y'all used to bump heads and shit like that. Yeah, that was him. Uh, them niggas younger than me. So, motherfucking, I guess that was him, um, him and Duffin. It seemed like a lot of love. Man. They going, they falling out over words and shit. Which, you know what I'm saying? Big in the city, but them niggas should have been fucking. They should have been, they should have been rocking on some east side shit, but hey, you know what I'm saying that shit over with. If he was ever getting to it with like, Somebody you know that was involved in the rap game feel like they didn't hold you down and shit like that. Is it right to expose your homie on the internet? Hell no, nah, but sometimes you get carried away. Sometimes that's the only place motherfucking you know what I'm saying? Hey, nigga, fuck you want to be in that nigga? Let's be in that. Man, like people, people fucking um, people blow shit out of proportion. You know what I'm saying? Like. The first motherfucker who say, oh, you too internet is the motherfucker who ain't got no status on the internet. You know what I mean? They love that <laughs> right. shit. They, love that. They, they, they like that shit too. Like, I have a bitch tell me, man, you too internet. Like, damn, that's my job. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, right. like, when you hit me up or somebody hit me up with a serious inquiry about doing business, yeah. motherfucker, like, I need to be responding to their ass like that. You know what I'm mean? saying? So if I went on the internet, I would never saw it. But a bitch probably said, nah, you too internet. I'm like, shit, that's why I 
That's why I submit my content to the motherfucker to generate revenue for myself. Right. Mm. So right. fuck you mean on the internet like they be saying bitch with fake pages and shit like I'm internet. You got, <laughs> you got three fake pages. No, no, no. Right. The fuck. You watch you watching my bitch out for fake pages and shit. I'm internet though. Bitch. So it's not okay to expose nobody. Because I don't see Cash Out throwing, you know, the ducks, the billionaires, the people under the bus. I don't see you doing that. I'm nah, pretty sure y'all can get money. Nah, but like, we can get like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. We can really get like that. Motherfucking. And, and not saying, like, I ain't gonna look at like no bitch. Y'all, oh, man, you should never be that, man. You should stay out of my business. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, it's motherfucking, like, for the culture, man. Shit. For your, your fans to support us. Shit, nigga, if you say something about me on the internet, nigga, like, let's go, let's go like that. Unless you want to meet up, we go hit, we beat your ass in person. Nah, I just want to humiliate you. Right. Uh, but then, gonna... but, but for the most part, though, nah, it ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? 90 percent. You know what I'm saying? It's not cool. So the streets don't be looking at that exposure shit like that's cool. Fuck the streets. You know what, right. what I'm saying? You don't owe the streets no motherfucking explanation. Fuck the streets. Uh. Uh-huh. You know what? Well, you one of the first people that has said that shit. A lot of people feel like the streets is the rap now. Man, look, streets don't love your ass. Like, motherfucker, streets didn't pay my motherfucking rent last yeah. month. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the streets. That's yeah. deep. I want to ask you, though, Cash Out. I think you're the perfect person to ask this. I mean, I understand that you didn't sign the deal or nothing. I and mean, you wasn't the one involved. But back to Cairo, and this is the last question I'm going to ask about. He kind of spoke on the reason why G. Herbo didn't do that remix of Slide. Yeah. Do you know the real reason why? Or is it because of like the connection of Dirk and shit like that? Yeah, I think that was like, I don't think it really had nothing to do. Oh, you talking about like Fire is the feature, not the doing feature, a song. Not doing a song. Oh yeah, it's like most definitely like shit, yeah, man. You got niggas out here calling each other twin and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, that's some Atlanta shit. So you see how, like, I'm I'm just saying that to go say it's like, look how easy influenced niggas is, you know what I'm talking about? Like, shit. Like, like it's neither, what up, folks, or what up, gangsta, with me and my peers, but like, going in, calling nigga twin, like, so niggas easily influenced, so motherfucking hell yeah, they got a big part to do with it, like, shit. Fuck, you gonna do a song with that nigga, you know I don't fuck with that nigga, but like, his people gonna kill my people. I mean, you did a song with him, man, yo ass out of bounds, like, yo ass is back. You know what I'm saying? Trying to infiltrate this whole organization. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, that's, that's like 100% it. Because that would have been a good look for the both of them. Right. I think so, too, you know. That was a question I, I always wanted to know about. Uh, now, I got some on the tough side here now. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to ask you this, Cash, and I'm going to ask you this without being police. Mm-hmm. But I am going to ask you this. You know, when you was dropping them songs, the whole industry was in your comment section. Cause we knew the world seen that shit now. Okay? Seen that shit now we knew now. We seen shoebox in your comments. He dropped a song responding to you now. That's my little cousin too. He just playing. Yeah, and that's like the newer generation. Do you feel kind of weird that the newer generation is kind of like irritated with you? Nah, 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 not really. I'm saying niggas just say they don't know who I am. Niggas say they never heard of me and shit, but like that right there. Speak fire. You, know you paying homage even when you dissing them, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So she, I don't, I don't feel no type of way. Oh, even when you dissing? Oh, no. I ain't get that, kid. It's still paying homage, huh? Yeah. Mm. You know, though, I seen that respond, though. You don't take that serious, though. Ain't no FBG cash response to that? No, nah, it did what it, 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 it did what it was supposed to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? You come and say some, I, I, last night I saw some shit that I pissed me out. Like, and I pissed you out that bad to make a poor song and shoot an even poor video, you know what I'm saying? Like, I pissed you out that bad. Damn. Yeah, Damn. I seen that. You want the only comment I seen in that I seen another, I seen a lot of comments, but it's one comment that the fans said to my DM quick. True, look, he responded, he responded, he responded. And I didn't pay attention, and then I seen it again, and I got to ask you now. Yeah. You know, I get a lot of subscribers, comments, mm-hmm. likes, so I got to reward the fans for asking the tough questions. Yeah. I seen Mona Duke in your comment section. He wasn't happy about that King Von world. Yeah. I seen you respond too, Cash. Yeah, I said it's crazy. You see, I, like, my fucking me and my boy got into it last Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? I had a, uh, a family gathering and shit. He was there. We got into it about some shit, 
family shit, and we ain't been seeing out of ass since me and Duke. I still love him, though. That's my cousin, cousin. Yeah, I sneak that though. You know, you kind of not to spark up no drama, but the fans gonna say troop star and shit. But I'm not. I'm just being transparent because I got cash and shit now. Mm-hmm. You said something about a girl or something. Now. No, I clicked all these hoes, but like, nah, uh, take that back. A lot of these women kind of had like, I know, I know. They done did business already. You know what I'm saying? So like, this girl ain't nobody know. She ain't no, she about worth that, right? I don't want to be too policey, but. <laughs> yeah, man. Whew, out of here. Then y'all got to treat the fans with that remix, because I think you won, bro. I know I won. I think you won, bro. Because you, you was better than that nigga he signed, bro. That nigga he got. And that nigga been signed. So I like, will. I ain't know that. He's been signed. Like, never, to heard, never to be heard of again. Like, after that, like. Okay, bam, cash, trending, ate that motherfucker. And I came in the race after niggas was already debuting they shit, mm-hmm. dropping. I came in the race, laid on down the line, still smoke niggas on the views, mm-hmm. still smoke niggas on the wordplay, the talent, I'm saying, delivery, everything. And, um, mm-hmm. Nigga ain't big head, motherfucker ain't pick me, you know what I'm saying? So, like, the thing wasn't to get picked, because, like, my plan was if to get picked, I was gonna motherfucking try to, like, righteously go viral, like, get at that, that plateau and get uh-huh. next to him. And when the offer came, did not. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Dolph. Hands uh-huh. down, I fuck with Dolph. Like, I ain't grow up on no cocaine music. I grew up fucking uh, Gucci Mane. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like both of them talking that, that, that hustling shit, but Gucci, Gucci did it on the level of like getting high, getting high off pills and trap houses and motherfucking like, Shit like that. I want everybody love Gucci. What is it with Gucci that make all the rappers love Gucci? It seems like his story just more, you know what I'm saying, realistic, you know what I'm saying? More like it's it's it's, it's easier to motherfucking um it's more believable. I think when you when you bring Gucci up like Gotti, like nigga, you came right in talking bricks. Like, you know what I'm saying, nigga, I ain't even got like we on eight <laughs> you know I mean? so like, Right. <laughs> Gucci made it for like niggas like beans, popping beans and rolling and pews and Crunk juice and shit like motherfucker. This shit was more than our reach. Like we saw Gucci in the trenches. Like we ain't we ain't see this big head ass nigga in the um like he came right out talking blocks and Migos and shit like that shit was out of our reach. Facts. Um Dick Howdy, you think that was a scam? Was that a scam to get like streams on that beat or do you I think I wouldn't say a scam. Yeah. You think he was really fucking with the music and fuck with somebody? Hell no, nah. like I I wouldn't say a scam. It was just good marketing strategy, like, and, and again, people were easily influenced. So if it, if motherfuckers was more on the lines, of, man, we ain't doing that shit. Like, you got to give us some type of, you got to give us some type of fucking assurance that nigga, you picking some of the people. Like when niggas do shit right now, oh man, I'm having a uh, a twerk contest, giving away five hundred to the best twerk on Instagram to a song. Niggas already had a bitch. I already picked out. Bro. Oh, that fucked my head up. I didn't think. Hey, look, niggas, I already had that shit picked out. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my little bitch to five hundred already. Oh, you know what I'm saying? If it's a five hundred dollars around, you know what I'm saying? Wow. You got everybody chasing that five hundred. I ain't get. You know what, Cash? I might be slow as hell, but I didn't know that, bro. I already thought. Damn, that shit. I can see that too. Yeah. They shaking ass like a motherfucker for that five hundred. <laughs> yeah. Damn, the game crazy. Yeah. The baby. Checking a little dirt. For Spoke sure. on OTF memo. Another motherfucker, another uh, publicity stunt, I would say. Publicity? Yeah. Like, Break it down, Like, the baby, like, in my eyes on the edge of, like, a lot of shit he's doing being canceled. You know what I'm saying? Like, I believe I believe the baby is a superstar in his own right. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he a superstar. He iconic already. But like due to the shit that he meant, you know what I'm saying, they have him going on in his camp, legal issues and shit, like like he getting a little more on like a little a little mild, he turned down just a little bit. So like why not go at one of the pioneers from Chicago, the top that sweat he's super savage and you got all these niggas and shit. But but like he ain't in the wrong because he, he picked the side, like so he did pick a side. Yeah, like ain't even so much as picking the side. I was already over here. So you niggas ain't gonna make me motherfuckers stop hanging on my homie or you know what I'm saying? And first of all, you niggas bitches, like, like I like this not 
my words. Like this, this is how I would feel if I was in the baby shoes. Like, nigga, nigga I sit with my homie and we discuss shit all day. We back and forth on the phone, FaceTime, text messages and shit. And I'm already seeing these niggas kind of bitches, like compared to what me and my niggas do in my city. So I ain't like, who the fuck did you tell me about what the fuck I'm doing? And on a, on a level, a nigga, we get money together. Man, the fuck out of here. So as far as like going public, think it was a stunt. Be like, let's get shit going on TMZ. Right. Let's get in town with this shit. But motherfucker, um, yeah, I, I feel like I'm here, nigga. I don't like you niggas. Like, I don't feel like you don't like them niggas. I'm on the side of young boy, and nigga, we can take it up there if y'all want to. And I, I believe he gonna stand on it. As yeah. Well. yeah, I believe he gonna stand on it. Do you think, though, is that, cause I hear, I just seen people on the internet who wasn't OTR. Mm -hmm. And they was like, they don't like the outside of this in Chicago. You don't feel like that, that's not your beef. Man, I don't give a fuck if you from Hawaii, bro. Like, it's your opinion, like, it's either your opinion or it's constructive criticism, my nigga. That's what this shit was made for. When you niggas go in the studio and you make music like that, what was your aim? Right. To win over an audience, you know what I'm saying? So like, nice. we, we splitting the room up. Which side you on? Like, so motherfuckers like, oh yeah, you gotta say. This the thing. With niggas dissing, like, you don't diss a motherfucker from Chicago and you not from Chicago. You can, but it's like, What's your purpose? Like, nigga, like, how the fuck is Chicago the, the topic of your conversation? Because you a culture folks, so you must like what we got going on anyway. But as far as, like, a nigga getting up, man, fuck that nigga cast. I'm finna diss his ass. I don't even know you, fam. Like, what, 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 what key points could you hit in your diss? To Did she know King Rose? Nah. Okay, so all that shit he was saying, that was fake. Because I didn't believe that shit that he was saying, like he knew you and shit like that. No, no, no for a fact, I don't know. His cousin called me from the county yesterday. I met his cousin in the oh, prison. Yeah. I met his cousin in the prison. Um, he was smooth, he was a smooth nigga. Motherfucker, what? He ran me down with him, like, that's my cousin, man. My cousin, he run out of every city he come from. Like, I think he, I think he's just like, I think he might be a little, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He might be a little, um, not retarded, but like, you know what I'm saying? He's he, he a gifted person, I want to say, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I always wanted to know that, man, because it seemed like he used to be on them live talking like he knew you, but I felt like that was just some funny shit, yeah. controlling shit. Yeah. Um, what the young boy think? I want to know, though, man. You heard him say Wooski name. What's the first thing came to your head when you seen that? Because um, why do the fans love Wooski so much? What, what is up with Wooski make the fans that just love him? That nigga demonic, you know what I'm saying? They ask people like crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? When they see Wooski, they feel like Wooski stand on what he talk about. Like back in 18, all that shit that they watch and niggas want to be savages, want to drill and shit. I think Wooski gave them a clear perspective of what like drilling is and what it is to be savage. You know what I'm saying? So on the outside looking in, I think they was like, man, they want to be that demonic person and want that image for themselves. And me on the inside looking at Wooski. Like shit, I know exactly how whiskey coming and what he do, what he like to eat and all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So fucking, it was like to me, it was like damn, you know, like shit, damn, like it's crazy. But I know the real whiskey. I ain't taking nothing from him. Right. Is that irritating? You know, seeing your neighborhood because y'all neighborhood been documented on the internet for about ten years now, ten, eleven, twelve years. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all stories about your cousins, your friends, and you got a tattoo of Australian. Yeah. No, um, I got born rather on my hands. Okay. I got boss trail. All right, it's on your arm. Yeah, I got boss trail and KL over here. Right, and it's millions of documentaries about them. Yeah, you know them in real life. Mm -hmm. Is that shit irritating? No, you know what I'm saying like, I feel like, bro, you know Tupa and Lil B and all these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like when you mention these guys, it's like it's more so like shit. Ooh, my fuck rather be. Be, be remembered and forgotten and so shit. Wow. It's like, that's good. Even, you know what I'm saying? Even though it's bad shit on, like, my fucking mama look up and be like, damn, like, they, they ain't forget my son's birthday. They ain't forget Cal's birthday. So for the most part, that's, that's good. Did that shit get you post traumatic, what they call that PTSD? Because you didn't lost a lot of people, Cash. I don't know. Like, uh, they talk about Dirk a lot, but Cash know a lot of people who you been took away. Yeah, like, Everybody, everybody, you know what I'm saying? They know a lot of motherfuckers that got took. Uh, 
took away. But like it's a cycle, like motherfucking for 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 a new generation to come, and like some the, the old generation gotta die off or be deceased, you know what I'm saying? They got it just it just gotta like you plant, make a plant and grow, boom, and die and sprout again. So fucking like some people had to um lose their life and my fucking leave the scene for so motherfuckers to get a better understanding of how life go in the first place. Yeah, that's crazy. I wanted to ask you that because you link to a lot of people who people make documentaries and shit about. Yeah. I always wanted that. Um, I got another question I want to ask you and we kind of talked about this but Mama Duck recently went to Say Cheese TV mm-hmm. and this was kind of brought up I don't want to cross the line, but I'm going to ask you, though, in your opinion. You know, because I think we need to let Duck rest a little bit, you mm-hmm. know. It's, 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 it's non-stop. I done got to the point where I said, I ain't, I'm going to slow with the blogs, man. Yeah. But it got brought back up. The low. I see stories about his location. In your opinion, was this a low drop or just spotted because he's super famous? Yeah, just getting spotted. That's what that was. Mm-hmm. All them things on the internet about somebody dropping loads and shit. It just, that's just blog shit. Ain't. I don't want to know that because that seems like I see a lot of that shit on the internet. Y'all be tired of saying that FBG got stuff on the internet? Look at Dirt. I'm not telling Dirt. Uh-huh. I said stop sneak this and shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> so said too. What'd he do? Uh-huh. He saw it. Mm-hmm. You most definitely saw. You know, those videos going big, so, you know, I'm pretty sure he got his eye on the culture. You know what? We're bringing his name up. I do got something I want to ask you that's a little cringy now. Now, this is really on the police side, but I got to ask this, but I'm afraid of it, right? It's a guy by the name of Old Block J. Hood. He even made some wild claims, okay? Mm-hmm. He made a claim about King Von. K.I. King Von Boss Trail. It's a claim out now that he's saying King Von has something to do with Little Mr. Pass. And do videos like that get you cringy? Nah, hell nah. Man, look, like, she don't shit get to me, folks. So, like, that's what I, that's what I want to be know. I'm going to stop, like, mm, I'm trying to put it in words the best way I can. Like, a lot of shit don't get to me, bro. Right. It like it like it don't get to me like nothing is nothing is motherfucking new to me with this shit that's going on right now and and like shit I ain't got no ops you know what I'm saying like niggas oppose me like I don't really feel like I oppose niggas you know what I'm saying like it is what it is it's life motherfucking like shit I'm not looking for you niggas now you niggas shouldn't be looking for me you niggas shouldn't be trying to hurt me I'm not trying to hurt y'all see? Like, I'm here for the sport. A lot of this shit that came about, I wasn't even here for. I was absent. But I'm guilty by association. You know what I'm saying? Like, when it come home, like, I wish, I wish, you know what I'm saying? We could be motherfucking, uh, we could still associate on on the level of doing business. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, the world would be much better. Chicago would be lit. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could motherfucking be um, associated with these niggas and motherfucking we do business and be on a bigger scale. Like, niggas don't get mad. Like, I don't give no fuck what nigga to my nigga be like, oh man, I'm broke ass nigga and shit like this. Money don't make you happy, you know what I'm saying? Like, money can make you happy in a certain sense, but like, niggas got all that money, niggas can't even come back and enjoy Chicago. Mm. You, see, you feel what I'm saying? Like, niggas put that drip on and can't come see some of the hoes that they've been wanting to fuck since first grade. They can't, mm. they can't come back and get them, you know what I'm saying? They want to come back. Motherfucker can't come down and get original Giordano's and motherfuckers Italian beef and Portillo's here because shit. They done, they done, they done, they done fucked up, fucked up, like, took it to the level of, like, game banging and all this cap-ass shit, and motherfucking, like, shit, not, like, it, for, for the most part, now, don't, cringe, don't make me cringe, you know, I'm still here, right. like, and then, like, every day, don't, don't take it as, like, oh, this nigga, oh, yeah, all right, this nigga steady wanna act like he just, like, like we can't, he can't get touched, I'm not saying I can't get touched, you know what I'm saying, this city is beautiful, I love this city, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going I'm gonna leave. Eventually, I'm trying right. to pay work is straight. I'm gonna leave, but like shit. For the most part, I'm one of the niggas that can still be here, bro. And because I move strategically and militant, and I'm saying like I care about myself. 
I think about the safety for myself and others. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Yeah, what it is. You know what you kind of buzzing, well, you always been buzzing, but now, you know, with the songs you got going on, you know, do you feel like you got to watch out a little bit more now? Uh, yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Like, shit, when folks that made their songs, and I wasn't even the artist yet, I had to watch how I move more. Like, I came home on a, on a, in between, like, these my guys, these the guys that opposed them. You know what I'm saying? I came home, shit, and heard that they beat them. I used to be down there hanging, hanging in the alleys with the BDs and my fucking still going to park with and shit. My friend, I put FBG on my neck and made myself a target. But I'm standing on everything that that, that they got going on. I'm taking to my boys. Shit. So shit. Yeah, yeah. You know I got to move. More militant. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to know that though, you know, because I thought that was something. Um, that I wanted to know. I ain't gonna lie, you actually just dropped a new video. I believe it dropped yesterday. Mm -hmm. You was actually on 63rd. Yeah. I yeah. see you still, I see the sign shit behind your back. You was on that block. See, you know, I don't do that. I don't do that in the sense of like, like I'm chasing niggas like shit. When you do shit like that, like, niggas come back and, and, and get motherfuckers off the block. You know what I'm saying? Like shit. Um, my fucking go to that address. Like I have permission to do it, but like that's that's like that's like a milestone and, and, um, in our right. our culture for us. It's STL. Like motherfuckers look at it. We saw so many motherfuckers on the porch that's passed. Like that's we going back to the roots. I'm like, damn. I'm listening to the song. Come time, like I'm gonna go and block and shit. Right. Like I ain't tell them. Hey y'all, put. Up. See, like what people be saying. I see people in the comments like. Oh, you see, he ain't got the guys out there. They they gone. And we're like, like they, oh, that's how many people died. Like, they ain't on block. Like, times change. Like, right. I don't want no niggas with me no way. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, if some shit was subject to happen on that block while I was shooting my video, now I got seven niggas, you know what I'm saying? That got worried about telling on me and shit. Not saying mm -hmm. niggas don't tell, but like, that's life. Some of my niggas was just me and Kiso. Mm -hmm. And you out know, there. And it's like, out there, like, I know, hey, shooting go, man. Like, you know. That shit take time. Like, scenes right. gotta get shot. Like, we didn't have nobody. Like, I was his ass, he was my ass. Mm. Yeah, that kind of looked a little dangerous, though, from the outside looking in, yeah. I'm 63rd. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong, but shit, I ain't gonna lie. I was afraid when I seen that shit, bro. It's crazy as that sound. We got a full project coming from Cash? Yeah, I feel I like a project coming. Yeah, I need to go ahead and get them to take, man. Like, my fucking, uh, they deserve it. I deserve it for myself to give it up. And, um, the like, y'all shouldn't be so selfish. Like, fucking, I think I could drop every day. Like, I done dropped, like, four videos in about right. uh, two weeks or some shit. So, like. They all streaming good, too. Yeah, they doing good. They doing good. Fucking, um, I just want to show y'all, like, that I'm perfecting my craft and shit. I'm getting better. Like, I have to think to myself, like, God damn, like. Wordplay getting kind of like the vocabulary always been there, but like, the vocabulary been there, and I'm seeing in my shit like y'all wouldn't even know like that shit I've been getting y'all been freestyle. Like, mm -hmm. I ain't even been right, so shit like I'm putting that shit together, man. Fucking, uh, I got I got two nice ass engineers, Bodine and uh, Roshi. Okay, my fucking I got a uh, nice ass good. producer, Clockley. Uh -huh. and, uh, okay. Can't forget about the videographers. Yeah, your video good. Yeah, yeah. I think that's important. I think, I think, I think your shit still go off. I think when you put that visual to them songs, I think that's that make it epic. Cause like yeah, motherfucking yeah. like people, like, after they done saw the visual, it's cool to put it on the playlist and ride work out to it, whatever the case may be. But you can see poor, poor streaming, which is audio versus. Uh -huh. Motherfucker seeing like, okay, oh go back to two thirteen. Damn, <laughs> like look at that nigga like that like. Yeah, like it's like even with a movie, like even with a movie, like how many times motherfuckers watch fucking Don't Be a Menace or Menace to Society, and like to this day I can watch it today and see some shit different in the movie. Thanks. I think I think you hit that right on the head. Um, still independent, for sure. Mm -hmm. No labels are jumping at DM in. Uh, oh yeah, um, yeah for sure. Like I'm saying, go meet with um. But Empire right now. Oh, like when I leave dope. from here, and I also got a situation going on with, uh, with Monarch. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, yeah. I think that's dope, kids. I think that's what I'm saying. Come on, man. Uh, 
You got some advice for upcoming artists, guys? I ain't going to wait too long, man. Just stay safe, man. Just stay safe. Perfect your craft. Motherfucking keep working. Like, even when you think they're not watching, they watch them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Get you, get you, um, get you a strategy. Get you a fucking, um, like, plan out some goals. What you want to reach. Like, each month you have to be better than last month. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you if you get in this to generate some revenue, make sure you generate some revenue. You know what I'm talking about? How you gonna do that though? Because a lot of artists don't know. Like you gotta give some to get some in the game that I play like. Okay. So the music give to him, give to him, give to him. Like my fucking, I got my fuckers in me in my ear. No, nah, Cash, you should wait, wait till this get to this. I'm like, you not rapping, man. Like, <laughs> you not no artist. You know what I'm talking about? Like shit, your ship crashed a minute ago. Like, a nigga can take this how they want to take it. Like, some of my peers and shit, like, I look at them like, you tried this. You know what I'm saying? You tried what you tried to get me to try, and right. it didn't work. Nice. Why would you want me to work the same motherfucking program? Like, it don't make sense, do it? Mm. I think that makes a lot of sense, man. Uh, when we get up out of here, Cash, I want to ask you two more questions. One question I want to ask you is on this one, and I'll say this for the end. I wasn't going to ask. But you know, I feel your energy, and I think I can ask you this. Um, you know, when shit started happening, Lil Durk linked up with Fredo Bang. I think that kind of irritated NBA Young Boy. Mm -hmm. NBA Young Boy shouted out Wooski. I think that kind of irritated Lil Durk. If you woke up in the morning and seen the DM by Quando Rondo or Lil Tim, they want to feature. Is that something you think about, or you gonna stay away from that kind of shit? Yeah, I'm gonna do it uh, for sure. Uh... Like for different reasons though, like fuck it, um, let's him. It's because like he give me like a wooski vibe. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can see that. He give me like a wooski vibe, like Rondo Rondo. I be trying to gain his audience. You know what I'm saying? Right. And be a young boy, that's just off the rip. I like him because he don't like people. So that's just so for different reasons though. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying with no one for oh man, cause I fuck with the music and shit. Like it's the business. Mm. I got a one more tough question I want to ask you, Cash. You might not want to answer this. You might just get up and walk off on this camera, but I'm gonna ask anyway, Cash. The last one, Cash. What, what is your opinion? I mean, you don't got no fight in this. You don't got nothing to do with this. But I want to ask you with this, cause I kind of get like that. Even though you know you are young, I still get an OG vibe from you, Cash. Um, in your opinion, what's gonna happen with this King Von trial? Because it's gonna start pretty soon. Is this self defense? Hell no. Nah. Or was this just a murder or a gang member's fight? What you think gonna happen? Uh, I'm go I'm go I'm not gonna speak on uh folks no situation right. because it's a it's a pending case. Right. And you know what I'm saying my opinion is only an opinion. Facts. So like motherfucker, I don't wish jail on nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like shit. Facts. It is what it is, like fuck it. They 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 gonna come where they get the answer in front of a judge. Um, I wanted to know that because I see a lot of shit going on in Atlanta. You know, you be in Atlanta and shit. I heard it's starting to become like Chicago and shit out there. Yeah, like Chicago, fuck it. Uh, Chicago got a big influence mm. on the world. Shit is going. We got so many like Atlanta also. There's so much talent coming out of Atlanta, but like. Chicago and Atlanta is to be talked about. So motherfucking, we, we, it gets so fucked up here and mm -hmm. weather play a good part. So like with people being able to go to Atlanta and like when you get in the South, you get like a different type of love, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like so people sit in state. So of course, if 30% migrate to Atlanta, niggas gonna start doing Chicago shit, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And, and Chicago also gonna take to some shit that niggas from Atlanta do. Facts. Like, for instance, call each other twins. Like, <laughs> wearing bell bottom pants and shit. Right. Like oh, that. I see. That's that Atlanta shit, huh? Yeah, fuck like shit migrates. Uh -huh. Most definitely. I appreciate you coming through, Cash, y'all. For sure. Mm. What's all the social medias, bro? Just New Cash 063 on Instagram. Fuck Facebook. That's for family. And, um, right. Yeah, just follow me on Instagram and motherfuckers subscribe to my YouTube channel whenever y'all see me uh, come across dropping some music. Just go ahead and subscribe to my shit. Okay, what's the name of that YouTube channel too? Uh, I think it's Real FBG Cash. Okay.
man, y'all gotta subscribe to that because he dropping videos and music like damn near every go. It's official that. FBG Cash, that's what it is. Uh, official FBG Cash, y'all subscribe to that channel because Cash dropping surprise projects and shit every damn couple days. So y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Sure, sure. I appreciate the love, Cash. Love. So I'm gonna tell the street for them. Brit, 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 brit. Love, bro. I appreciate that, Cash.